In this ninth question, we have a car dealer who offers to purchase a three-year warranty on a new car. He sells two models, a Zippy and a Nifty. So for the first 50 cars sold, here are the number of claims under the warranty. We've got 35 against a Zippy and 40 against a Nifty. Let's just put our totals in. So we've got a total here, 15 plus 35 gives us 50, because it's the first 50 cars sold. 40 plus 10 gives us 50 here too. And now if we add up all the total claims, 35 plus 40 gives us 75 and 15 plus 10 gives us 25. So as we can see both column here and this row here gives us our total number of cars and total number of claims plus no claims which gives us the same, should give us the same number that was 100. Now we're going to let A be the event that no claim is made by purchaser. So this column here gives us event A. And B be the event that the car purchases a nifty. So this row here event represents column um, event B happening. So we want to do A intercept B. So that's where these both overlap. The A and the B both overlap here. And that gives us 10. And we want to find the probability of that happening. Well, it's out of 100 altogether. So therefore, the probability that A intercept B is going to be 10 out of 100, which equals 0.1. Next bit, we want to find the probability we don't have A. So A is this column, not A is this column. And this column adds up to 75 out of 100. So therefore the probability of not A is going to be 75 out of 100, which equals 0.75. Now, given a person chosen does not make a claim under the warranty, so we know that he doesn't make a claim. So what we're going to do, we're just going to examine. We know that no claim is made, so we're only interested in this section of data. So we want to find the probability the purchase car is a zippy. So that's these 15. So we want to look at the probability that we know that he's, we get a zippy given that A has happened, all right? that no claim is made. Now the number of zippies is 15 and the number of times when no claim is made is 25. So that gives us 0. Point, excuse me, that gives us 0. Point 0.5 into there goes 3 5 into there goes 5, so it's going to be 3 over 5, which is 0 0.6 is our probability of that happening. Now I want to show that making a claim is not independent of making a car purchased. So, <coughs> not making a claim is not A. And we know that not making a claim has a probability of... Sorry, say again. So that making a claim so making a claim is this column here. We know the probability of that happening is 0 0.75. Well, let's look at what happens, what the probability of making a claim if the car we purchased was a zippy. So the probability of making a claim, so that's not A, given that we had a zippy, is going to be equal to, well, we're looking at given that we had a zippy, so we're in this row here, and there are 35 claims out of 50. Which equals 0 0.7. So the claim, if you know you've got a zippy, is going to be lower than claims overall. Let's just look what happens if we deal with nifties only. So let's just change the colour. So, because this table is getting quite crowded, so we're just going to deal with the nifties. 
So we're going to find the probability that we make a claim, so it's not A, given that we bought a nifty. And we can see there are 40 of those. Okay, it's quite, quite close, but that number was 40 there out of 50. And that gives us 0.8. So we've definitely shown that the making a claim is not independent of the make a car purchased. We've got different values of making a claim for different purchased cars. If you purchase a Zippy, you'll make a claim 0.7 at the time. If you purchase a Nifty, you'll make a claim 0.8 at the time. So um, for you, it would be wiser to purchase a Zippy if you want a reliable car. <laughs> Um, and, or if the manufacturer maybe wants to try and sell more nifties so there's a comment you can make on the result that makes sense